Hey, it's Pamela. Doing an extreme sheen metallic pour today, and um, here's my colors the ruby and the extreme sheen, 24 karat gold in the two ounce bottle. Um, these two are Artist Loft Flow in silver and black. And I think I want to mix those together and do a, actually do a um, ring pour. Kind of tongue tied because I haven't done anything quite like this. I mean, I haven't done a ring pour down a canvas. That's for sure. I'm going to put a shot of the gameplay right here. Okay, so this is a 12 by 24 canvas. And what I want to do is put the Extreme Sheen Metallic all over here. And then also all the way up to this point. Okay, all the X's are Extreme Sheen. And then I want to put some over here on this side. And then when pouring the black paint, pour it in this area and it'll spread out. While I'm pouring, I'm going to tilt the canvas this way. I'm going to tilt it that way so that the black paint flows down this way. But then you got to tilt back the other way. So at that point, I may have to pour a little more paint, which I can because this is the pour painting area. So when I pour the second time, it's going to come this way, and then I'll have to tilt it again. But I'll have to do all of this very quickly because if you don't, your cells will get kind of jig jaggedy. That's the plan. I know it's a lot of paint, but it's the nature of this type of pour. I did that black artist love flow three to one with flow troll. <laughs> I'm still having to tilt my tail off. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Good job to you. Yeah. Okay. That ruby red does it to me every time. I'll never learn. Sorry about the glare. It's a very thin color, just like the blues. Plus, I poured a lot of paint over, so my cells got thinner. But I like it, it's kind of abstracty. You know, that's a word, abstracty. I'm trying to get out of the glare and I can't. Hold on, close this. No, close it, not open it. Okay. There's okay. It's still glary right there. No. Looks good from this angle. <laughs> Let's try this angle over here. 